Hello subscribers, welcome to my channel Survey Got Easier. This is Survey Got Easier where you get solutions to all solving this problem. You can check the channel for that. For those who are coming in for the first time, do want to subscribe to our channel because you never regret of doing that. And also turn on your notification bells to be notified anytime you upload so that you can be informed. Thank you. Today I'll be discussing on an interesting topic called measurements. You have to understand the basics of measurements and that's what i've brought to you today i'm dealing with measurements you can see this is with me here i have a measuring tape you can see this is a small tape a pocket tape with surveying you have to understand your measurement the measuring basics is very important any discrepancies between measurements you might get it wrong you know when it comes to measurements we have several countries that have their measurement units nigeria use meters Ghana use feet, it depends on your country measurement units. So you have to understand your measurement and the conversion. With your Samsung calculator, any measurement you pick on site, you can definitely use your Samsung calculator to convert it automatically on the Samsung calculator. Now, once you launch your Samsung calculator, you just launch it, you're going to see unit converter. We have several unit converter on your samsung calculator you can convert from meters to feet you can convert from meters to different different units you know like i said earlier on country units varies so you have to understand how to do, carry out your conversion on site as well all right that's fine now i'll come in with this measurement tape we have measurement different measurement pattern this tape is calibrated in such a way that you can read, use meter to take your readings. You can use feet to take your readings. Reading the tape now, you can see this tape is 50 meters tape. All right. Now, you can see this is a... Uh, this is starting from... This, we have meters and feet. With this tape, you can read it in meters or feet. Okay, this side is in meters. You can see it is written here, meters. You can see this M. It represents meters. And this side is feet. You can see this is F here. This F simply means that you are reading in what? You are reading in feet. If you want to carry out readings with this tape, what you simply need to do is to either take note of the tape if you, if you are taking the measurement in feet or meters. If you are taking the measurement either in feet or meters, you have to start from where I'm holding this from my hand here. Where it is where I'm pointing to here, where I'm holding this measuring tape. That's where you start from. All right. So now this is calibrated in such a way that you can definitely read it. Like you can see it. This is 0 0.1 meters. You can see it is, it is written here 0 0.1 meters. And this is what? This is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you get to 1 meter. And 1 meter is equivalent to how many feet? Let's check that. 1 meter. This is 1 meter where I'm holding here. And this is 3 feet. All right. So 1 meter is equivalent to. We're going to confirm that on this pocket tape. Coming back to this side here, we have 0 0.1 meters. In between 0 0.1 meters and 0 0.2 meters, if you want to take the readings, it's going to be 0 0.15 meters. And is you can see this calibration is very important for you to take note as well. If you are reading something from here, this is 0 0.1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I believe you've gotten that. Setting is applicable to your feet. When you are taking your feet, you can see one feet, two feet, like that, like that. You're going to start from here, like I've said earlier on, where I'm holding, you're going to start there. You can see, starting from this place, the zero is starting from here. It's zero, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one feet, Okay, using my pocket tape for this illustration, you can see it has been written boldly, clearly on it, 7.5 meters or 25 feet measuring tape, which implies you can use it to read feet or meters. Okay, so now you can see the measurements on the tape. It has been calibrated for you to read in meters or feet, and you can also read it in cm or mm. It's just for you to take note on your measurements. When you check this measuring tape, you can see. When you check this measuring tape, you can see here we have 100. From 0 year to year is 100. 
and we have values above and we also have values below with the values above it implies you are taking your measurements in feet you can see this f simply represents feet while the values below is on meters and but you can see this is on 100 so let me quickly get you familiar with how the tape is calibrated here we have 10 cm 20 cm 30 cm 40 cm 50 cm 60 cm 70 cm 80 cm 90 cm and we have what 100 cm 100 cm is equivalent to one meters and that's why it's applicable for you to read this measuring tape you can read it from this beginning year to year as one meter and 1000 mm is equivalent to one meters as well so yeah this year this place that shows 10 year you can read it as what well, 10 cm you can call it 0 0.4 is 0.1 meters you can call it 100 mm so you have to know how to carry out your conversions on site when you get to your site any values you read on site you have to know if you are reading it in feet or in meters or in centimeters and if need maybe whereby you have to convert from any unit to meters from any unit to feet you're going to get that done and with this little explanation i believe you've been able to obtain one or two informations from what i've shared with you and if you found this video helpful do want to subscribe to my channel like my videos comment turn on your notification bells to be notified on our subsequent video upload thank you